What is up guys, welcome back to another episode of Trombone Champ. So, uh, last time we met little devilly flicker dude. He actually doesn't have like a nickname, or he doesn't have a name. His little name is this guy, I'm pretty sure. Okay, maybe they don't say his name. Um, Alright, so we need to get cards. So we're gonna buy some packs. Yes. And we need a certain card. Alright, do we have this card? Um, popular romantic period, order hot dogs, you request them. As long as my name. I think we already have him. This guy I don't think we have. The Russian composer, well known for a night on Bald Mountain and pictures at the exhibition, strove to create uniquely Russian music and therefore refused to eat hot dogs. I know we have that one. Do we have Gustav Mahler? Austrian-born composer was one of the leading conductors of his time. Due to his Jewish ancestry, his competitors were banned through much of the Europe during the Nazi era, but they later achieved wide popularity. I don't think we might have had some of those cards. Now keep in mind, I played like the first five episodes within like two days. It's been like three weeks since I played this last. Um, we need this guy. So what number are we looking for? It's 17. We need card number 17. Let's do two packs. All right. Glazando, I'm pretty sure we have that. JJ Johnson. Fast bebop style. He could eat 10 hot dogs in one sitting. Uh, we have the red eyes uh, baboon, I think. Or do we have the blue eyes? One of the most powerful tromboner cars, the blue eyes white baboon, is a representation of the treble clef as it relates to Babby. Okay. And then Don Drummond, legendary ska trombonist, he eventually developed mental illness and was murdered by his girlfriend before being imprisoned and eventually dying. Oh my god, wait, why are we... Okay, sure. Still don't have the card we want. I already have him. Oh, this is a new card. Legendary tromboner and composer who works in free and avant gray jazz taught Etho music musicology, uh, that's probably not right, and played with Malian and Mongolian musicians could eat 900 bazillion hot dogs per second. I'm sure that is 100% accurate. Um, I'm pretty sure we had Melba Li Liston, first woman trombonist to play big bands during the 40s, later worked on arrangements for Motown, could eat uh, 10,000 hot dogs in one sitting. And then, yeah, we already have Mr. Slide. Man, we have everything surrounding this card now, but these two. Ugh. Do we do one more? Let's do one more. And then, and then we'll actually play the game, I promise. Just looking for se card number 17. There's Beethoven. Uh, influential composer and pianist, best known for his Symphony 5. Lost hearing, life, possibly side effect of eating 50 hot dogs in one sitting. Tromboner cards. Igor Stavinsky. Uh, I'm pretty sure we already had him. And then Richard Strauss. I know we had him. Wow. Okay. So we are just... <sighs> Alright. We're just getting unlucky. That's fine. But last time, when we talked to What's-His-Face, uh, he gave us the Silver Trombone. So we're going to go with Horn Lord, the Silver Trombone, and then, of course, the 8-Bit Music Pack. Because why wouldn't we? We're going to do five more songs. We're going to do Taps. The Riverside, Kino do Brazil, Blue Donby, and Are You Ready? So let's start out with Taps. Very stoked, very excited to be back playing Trombone Champ. Uh, it's been way too long. It's been way too long. Oh, I know this song. Okay, I gotcha, I gotcha, I gotcha. Yep. Uh-huh. Yep. It sounds beautiful. I, wow. How does he do it? How, how does he do it? It's just crazy. Oh. Going down now. Okay, okay. Yep. 
Can I get perfect? Hold on, the song's almost over. Was that perfect? Dude, there was like 10 notes. That has to be perfect, right? Yes, sir! Dude, 1,500 toots. For what? 17, no, 24 notes. I can get 50, wow. That is 40 seconds. That's a new way to grind. I've been doing, um, I've just been playing the, the warm-up song and getting perfects on that. But that, how long is that, 40 seconds? Hold on, that is 42 seconds. Oh my gosh. I just found out a new way to grind out toots. We're on to the Riverside, I'm pretty sure that was the song. I kind of just got very excited. Let's do it. Oh, it's, oh gosh. Okay. Oh gosh. Honestly, this doesn't sound terrible. Like everything considered. It doesn't sound great, but... My solo messed me up. How long is this song? This feels like really long. It's only two minutes? Oh my gosh. It feels like we've been going for three and a half. We crushed the last note. That that's really all what matters, right? Hey. Oh! Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? I'm like so dude. I'm right there in an S. You might as well give it to me. Ugh, alright. That was crazy. The riverside. Down by the riverside. Alright, let's do. Hino do Brazil, or do Brazil, or something. I don't know how to pronounce. English and other languages are very hard. So, yeah. Gosh, there's so many slides. Thank you. 
I'm gonna take a wild guess. This isn't how the song is supposed to sound. Just throwing that out there. You know what? I think my rendition of the song was honestly better. So, yeah, I, I think it was superior to the original one, obviously. Uh, we got Blue Dan Dan Danub Danub whatever this one is called. You know, bum ba ba da da. We all know the song. I'm gonna play it perfectly, and you're gonna really know the song when I play it. Uh, there will be no confusion, obviously. Honestly, this isn't terrible. Like, I, I know what I'm playing. I usually don't. But I, like, recognize the tune. This is rude. That was terrible. The way that it was like, boom, 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 boom. I mean, I know that's how the song goes, but like, Make me go from the freaking top of the screen to the bottom? Not cool, man. All right, now we have Are You Ready For This with a Z. Oh, no. <laughs> the little preview snippet of the song. <laughs> I hated that. Whatever it was, I hated it. No. It's so fast. This sounds terrible. <laughs> I hate this. Why is there more? <laughs> Who agreed to this? 
Who wants to listen to more? My ears are already, like, on the verge of bleeding. I mean, it sounds great. I... See, the thing is, I got an A on that, and I hated that. Like, that didn't sound good to me. <laughs> like, at all, actually. Okay, um, you know how we do. We're gonna open up more packs. Let's open up- I really want to get this, like, this card. Whatever it is. So, we're gonna open up, like, five packs. We can open up 32. Let's open up five packs. We have to get that card, right? Okay, we got Glenn Miller. Um, let's see. Early 1940s. Died while flying in France to entertain U.S. troops during the Second World War. Aircraft disappeared over the English Channel. Design your own card. I love that. Richard Strauss. And we got Bach. Um, let's see. Considered one of the most influential composers of all time, partially due to his Baroque compositions, but mostly because he invented the hot dog. Obviously. So, I mean, come on. Bella Bartok. I don't think we've had this guy. Considered the most important composer of the 20th century and among Hungary's greatest composers, he also created the ethnomusicology through the study of folk music he studied but never ate. Hot dogs. Uh, among the most popular composers in the Roman Romantic period, this Russian composer well known for... Okay, yeah, we've already done him. Nutcracker and Juliet. Max Tundra! Maximalist electronic composer and producer of Bespoke Soups. In addition to Long Tail Limbo, he produced a trio of critically acclaimed albums which you should purchase immediately. I will do that immediately after this episode. Okay, we just got him this episode. Yep, the Red Eyes Black Baboon. We had him before, Max Tundra, Al Gray, the American jazz trombonist who played um, with Count Bassey, who was known t um, for his plunger mute technique and literally wrote a book on plunger techniques. As an American, he probably ate a ton of hot dogs. He probably did. All right, that's Black Baboon, Beethoven, Strayos the Second, the mouthpiece. I think we've actually had all of them. Maybe Strayos the second we haven't had. Uh, Austrian bone composer wrote 500 pieces credited with popularizing the waltz in the 19th century. Venea, sadly, his baboon-like facial prevented him from eating hot dogs. All right, are we seriously not gonna get like the one card we need? Claude, oh yeah, yeah, we already had him because his card spelled hot dogs. Bill Watros, popular jazz trombonist of the modern era who studied his jazz. Pianist Herbie Nicholas, while serving in the U.S. Navy, well known among trombonists who, for his technical skill and pleasant sound, have him. Franz Schusber, um, widely appreciated after his death, his one up, one down collar style. I think we already had him. Dude! <laughs> Can we please? Get this one card, please. Three more, and we have to end after this. We've opened so many cards. We need to end after this. But I just really want it. Sergei Porf, uh, Porkovsky, the Russian Soviet pianist and composer, composed masterpieces across multiple... Musical genres, the infamous consumed hot dogs backwards, top to bottom, rather than side to side. Mozart, Blue Eyes Baboon, Gustav Holst, we've had all of those. Babby, Jack? Oh my gosh, wait! Yes, this is card 17. Drac T Garden. 
why did I say Drek? It's Jack. Jack Teagarden, the self-taught jazz trombonist, was a prominent performer in the pre-bebop era and performed along Louis Armstrong, specializing in New Orleans-style jazz. He could eat a dozen hot dogs in one sitting. Thank you, Jack, for showing your face. The hot dog. Yum. They are, are they beefy? Treat sandwiches? Or something else entirely? No one knows for sure, but one thing is certain. They're every composer's favorite treat, even if not eaten. Simply holding these imbues one with power. I think we already had the hot dog, but I just had to read it again because it's hilarious. Have we seen Rimsky Korsgakov, the Russian composer who infamously wielded two last names in order to double his power level? With a master of orchestration, it could eat a whole lot of hot dogs, although the exact number is unknown. I think this is the last pack. Yep. 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 All right. Great. Thank you. Let's do it. Ah, hello again. There's still more I can do for you. Yes, I finally have all of these cards. Take them. Certain about this? Yes. Yeah, my gratitude, here we go. Finally, it took so many freaking cards. But we're gonna, we did it. Thank goodness. Give me another chest. I dare you. I don't think it matters how fast you smash it open. I just like the, oh! My gosh. The red trombone, yes! The red is my favorite color. Oh my gosh, yes. The red trombone, yes! Uh, hello again, when we first met, I said I needed tromboner cards to perform my magics. There is magic in these cards, but I cannot access the cards without you. He locked me in the chaos castle. Wait, candle, sorry. He locked me in the chaos candle, you see. So I could not assist the baboons. Who is he? I spent so long locked within the candle that I've forgotten his name, or maybe he tampered with my memories. I do remember the knowledge that a legendary tromboner would one day find me. Could that be you? Whatever. Let's continue. Ooh, I have all of those cards. Change my song me again. So we actually already have those cards. So next time we can just go straight to the dude. Okay. Okay, I can work with that. We'll see you next time. Five more songs, new trombone color, and when we end the episode, we can talk to What's-His-Face and get another thing to unlock. See you then. Peace out, everyone.